In today's video, we're opening up the 2022 Walmart Mystery Box versus the 2017 Walmart Mystery Box. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening. And as you guys saw in the intro, we have the original. I guess it's the original. I, there probably was some before this, but this is my original 2017 mystery box. When I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, these were the ones I was opening nonstop. They're the ones that say, look for a randomly inserted BGS 9.5 Cyberstein. Yeah, you think that that card's in there? I highly doubt it. But maybe today we'll find out by pulling one. Probably not, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. ZD Scout Plane, Goblin Attack Force Ultra, and the Solemn Judgment Ultra Rare. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below which will win. The 2017 or the 2022 will have a counter up on the screen, so pick your sides now. Obviously, we'll start with the 2022. It's a little bit newer, a little bit less exciting. I mean, it's still exciting. It's a mystery box, but we know Figa's probably going to be in here at the usual culprits but i'm excited to open that 2017 because that's going to bring back some memories because i used to go to walmart eat the or not i, was, I said eat uh open those in the parking lot technically i did i would go to chick-fil-a right after that usually eat open some mystery boxes usually pull nothing so inside here we can get two booster packs two duelist packs so regular packs and two duelist packs one legacy pack one deck and then one mystery item which is usually a giant card purple deck what is this oh no 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 spoilers no spoilers no spoilers oh it's it's kaiba that's what it is it's the kaiba reloaded structure deck so you do get a you know ultimate rare blue eyes in here that's not like the worst thing ever i'm assuming it's unlimited yeah unlimited still really cool ultimate rare blue eyes in there that's gonna be some value all right not bad second item more kaiba theme we have duelist pack kaiba i feel like the newer one might actually win based on what i remember from those older ones there could be an ultimate rare in this pack so there is a Chaos Ember Dragon. I did once pull one of these, not out of the mystery box though. I did pull a secret rare version though out of IOC. We have Familiar Knight. White Dragon Ritual. Well, that's the 2017 ones, I should say. Out of the new ones, we pull a lot of stuff. And then a Kaiser Glider. So nothing out of the first pack. Okay. All right, what's the next pack? We have a Duelist Pack Yugi. Okay, does not have ultimate rares. We know this. We've been to Yugi. You know, down the Yugi path many times, talking about how they, it got screwed over. Should have had ultimate rares. Could have been Dark Paladin. Could have been Dark Magician Girl. Can you imagine that? Dark Magician Girl even have an ulti? Now that I'm thinking about that, I don't think I've even seen an OCG Dark Magician Girl ulti. Interesting. That's one day it's going to happen. We have Buster Blade. It has Ghost Rare. Life Force Sword. We have a Spellbinding Circle and a Black Cluster Soldier rare all right nothing out of the first couple packs that is interesting now that i think about it i don't think there's ever been a dark magician girl ulti there's the uh, giant blue eyes okay we've seen many many of those then we have a dark saviors secret rare pack it contains i could be at the front i think it is we're gonna do one to the back we have spell power grass there's some good sky striker cards in here that are worth a lot right now foolish burial goods we have sky striker ace sky striker airspace area zone struggling right there i don't know if that's a good one, we have a shark cannon. So it wasn't one from the back. Shark cannon secret. Oh, Mystic Tomato. That might be a good one right there. We have uh, Area Zero and Shark Cannon, both really nice cards at the moment. All right, that could have been some value for this opening. Is there anything left? I think we have two more packs. We have the Invasion of Chaos pack. Very epic. Let's see if we can pull a secret rare. 2017. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two around. I probably should have like actually looked at what we could get, even though we've opened a lot of these, but I probably should still go over it. Skullmark Ladybug, we have Urchant. Spatial Collapse, we have Ojama Delta Hurricane. A hero emerges, stumbling. We have the Pinch Hopper. Will we get that secret rare, Compulse? And no, it's a Death Kangaroo. Just a regular old common. All right, last pack, we have a Flames of Destruction. Pretty old pack at this point, not first tab. We can get the Ghost Bell. You can get the uh, Infinite Impermanence original print. There's a uh, Call by the Grave Common in here. There's some good cards. Flower Cardian, we have the Trickstar Bloom. Gargon's in. Called by the Grave, nice card. I don't think it's worth a lot at the moment, but it is a nice card. Vindred. We have the Iron Dragon. Tiamaton, Tiamaton. Ultra rare. I've never even seen that card that I remember at least. Okay, so we put up, I mean, not really a great fight. We got a little bit of value thanks to the deck. We pulled a couple of things there. I mean, the uh, Sky Striker stuff could be worth a lot, but I don't think it's a ton. So uh, the old mystery box has a great chance to win. All right, giant mystery box time. Two booster packs, five bonus packs. I think these are battle pack three, which are terrible. One vintage pack, hopefully 
vanilla B pack. And then one mystery item. I don't remember what the mystery items were in this thing. Hopefully it is a Cyberstein VGS 9.5. Probably very unlikely. I think these cost about a hundred bucks at the moment. So pretty expensive for, you know, because they've gone up from like 25 or whatever the, they originally used to be. Because, you know, if they're getting older, they're harder to find. And of course, you know, I guess technically you could get a Cyberstein, but nobody really believes you can get one. I guess we'll probably not find out but maybe let's see what's on the back first because we get because this is an older product i guess mystery item is sleeves which is what's right there we have the elo you know 2017 legacy packs which came out the year this came out this is a 2017 product we have the uh, bccg chaos emperor dragon which is pretty cool we've got a wcg exodia master collection one and then of course the cyberstein so i mean obviously that's the biggest card by far out of those three look for randomly inserted graded card sleeves and more i don't remember if i've ever gotten graded cards or not I think it's usually sleeve. So down here is where it said 2017. Let's see if I can flip it over. So here we can see this is uh, copyright 2017. Okay, let's go. Here we go, which I guess copyright. I mean, a lot of times they do that the next year. So I guess this could be a 27, 2016 box. I'm not sure if that's true or not. It's been a while since I've messed with copyright dates. I mean, it feels like I'm back in school at this point. You guys can let me know in the comments what that actually means. If it means 2016 release or 2017. Either way, it's very, very old. I was opening them in 2018, early 2018. And they were still, you know, all over the place in stores. I bought a ton of these. What is this? Can't tell what is it? Oh, I remember it came. It's really hard to get these out one at a time. Let's see if I can if I can do this. Okay, yeah. So the way they do it is they put the packs connected to this. Let's try not to ruin anything. The cool part is the packs you'll get are gonna be older than 2016, 17, because they had to put them in before they, you know, actually released them. Battle Pack Monster League. Yeah, this is one of the worst battle packs. They give you five of these. I remember having to rip these off every time. It's so hard not to like bend the cards and everything. Okay, that one worked a little bit easier than I remember, but then they're all stuck together like this. <laughs> all right, there's one. Battle Pack Monster League. They have like weird shatter foil kind of, kind of rarities here, so there's not really anything huge out of this set to get, but we're gonna see if we can find anything cool. Ready for intercepting shatter foil. Not like the worst rarity ever, but it's a little bit subtle. Tune Gemini Elf Rare. We have a Regeki bottle and a electromagnetic bag worm. Not the most exciting packs. Okay, we got four more of these. Don't worry, there are two booster packs as well as a vintage pack. So maybe we'll get, I think you could get like Order of Chaos in here if I remember correctly, which is like a 2013 pack. So at this point, that's like a 10 year old pack, which is pretty cool. We got Magicians Unite. These things have sticky stuff all over them. Got to be careful not to get it on the mat. Psychic Overload, Shatter Foil, Machine King Prototype. Premature bear. I mean, there's a good card for like playability, like pre-mat, it's not bad, but in terms of like value cards, not much. Okay, three packs left of these. Then we get to the real stuff because these are kind of like just the filler. Uh, not a lot great in terms of these. We have the Miracle Locus. Rux and Special Pass, the Ghost Trick Jack Frost. There he is. Vampire Koala, Time Escaper, and Rigorous Reaver. One of the early ultra rares in Duel Links. Yeah, classic. Here we go, two more packs. Oh my gosh. This was around the time, this was released around the time Duel Links actually came out, which is pretty funny. Duel Links is that old, it's pretty wild. We have a Blast with Chain, we have an Enemy Controller! That's probably a pretty good card, Shatterfoil, actually. We have the Ancient Gear Knight, speaking of Duel Links cards, we have Herald the Purple Light, that might actually be decent. And Chain Dog, a dog and a bunch of chains, that's kind of weird. All right, last Monster League pack. The thing with this one, I don't think they really, I guess they get a mystery item, which is their guaranteed, you know, money versus like the starter deck Kaiba. I don't know if it's going to be any good though. Blizzard Dragon. Okay, that's a cool card. We have a Skeletosaurus, a zombie, dinosaur, offering to the doom, and the Thriller Rabka. Okay, so as you can see, not a ton to pull in there, but hey, that's just the filler. We're getting to the good stuff now. Is this a pack maybe? We have a... Oh, we have a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. I actually need this 2017 pack. So I'm going to swap this for a 25th anniversary pack because I need this for another video I'm doing. Okay, you guys will see a video soon of why I needed that because I'm doing, uh, you know, a, a video that includes that, that pack. So a little bit of 25th anniversary. This will count as a 2017 pack for this because, you know, the box. We have a Sandstone. Later in that other video, I guess we'll find out if we pulled anything crazy out of this box. Karama, we have Dragon Treasure, Ray and Temperatura, Umi. We have Laser Cannon Armor. Silver Fang, will we get a Blue Eyes White Dragon? Here we go, a Dark Energy. So 25th anniversary, not coming in clutch. All right, what's the next item here? I think if I flip it over, it might help. 
And I think the packs were on the bottom. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's do this pack, which is a Primal Origin. See, like, now we're talking older packs. I don't know the exact year. I guess, like, 2013 or something like this. You know, for this, I think there is, there is Ultimate Rare and Ghost Share potential in here. So, good stuff, fun stuff. Let's see if we can pull something crazy like a Ghost Rare. One, two, three. From the back, I think it would actually be this pack trick like this. Battle and Boxer Veil. Pretty crazy card in Duelings for a while. We have Bouge Incident. Diamond Core. Number 48, Shadow Lich. Haven't seen that card in a long time. We have a Scrap Factory for them scraps. Ghost Rick Doll. Artifact Moral Tax. So it looks like I... I messed it up. Three from the back would have been perfect. That's a super rare, not guaranteed in these older packs. Artifact Moral Zack, very cool. And then a Ghost Trick, nice. So we did get a foil. That's actually pretty insane. I'm guessing that's not a ton of value. You guys can see the score on the screen at the moment, but uh, I'm guessing not too crazy. Oh, Judgment of the Light. Let's go. Potential for the legendary Chicolates. Here we go. Now, this is an older set. An older set. One, two, three. I'm just going to do three this time because that worked for the other one. Junk Blader. We have Sargasso. So the DD Battlefield, Xyz Reversal, Sargasso Lighthouse, Wujingi Ophidion, Intercept Tomato, another great card out of the set, Shark Caesar, we have number 104, Masquerade, and a Wujingi Wolf, so no foil and no Chicolates. We haven't had a chance to open for the Chicolates in quite a while. It's been a real shame. So there is maybe one more pack in here. There's like a giant thing in the middle. I'm just going to pull it out. I don't know what it is. A giant thing. Oh, this is our extra item. <laughs> it is a sealed duelist card portfolio. Wait, this might actually be worth money because it's sealed. This is unused. The original duelist card portfolios. It has 298 on it, but I guarantee it's worth more than that. You know, seeing as it's never had any use. That's actually a pretty crazy mystery item. Is that our last pack? I wonder what our legacy pack was. I guess it was Pryo or something. All right, I forgot we had the LOB pack. That was confusing me. All right, so that turned out to be actually pretty cool. These were so much fun back in the day because you could get a variety of like legacy packs plus actual like 2013, 2012 packs, stuff like that. If they had had better stuff besides these five bonus packs, it would have been a really, really nice mystery box. But we're going to have to see if that binder edged out the other side. Here's the score at the end. If you guys enjoyed this mystery box opening, you want to see more from these older mystery boxes, let me know down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Micycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertie Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.